Hello and welcome to the very first online Seesaw PD session that I am doing from my house and you can watch at any time. Um, today I'm going to show you how you can use Seesaw within your maths, pro maths program. Um, so, remember, just this is just to recap, um, our goal for this year is to become confident and competent Seesaw users, both ourselves as teachers and our students. Um, the minimum expectation um, is two posts a month or three a term um, and these can be group posts or individual posts. They must have a date or a walt um, and then walt can be in the caption or voice recorded with the success criteria. And a great way of um, sharing a post can be as a mass activity response yay um, so I'm just going to show you some of the things some of the features that you can use so the easiest one definitely is obviously your camera students can simply just take a photo of their mass work upload it obviously purposeful uh, maybe a piece of work that they're proud of um, the same with video they could take a video of them explaining their work perhaps a new math strategy or a explanation of something that they have worked out. Um, drawing, this is great for the younger children. You could give them a problem and they have to draw it, um, draw a set, practice their number formation, um, editing a worksheet, which you can upload um, in the um, upload file, or a note, they could type out some answers to some questions or a response or create their own problems. Um, so these are some of the ways that I use Seesaw, okay, so at a beginner level, at a real simple level, not wanting too much complication in your life, you could simply take a picture of their work, of a, or a worksheet, or on an app, and upload it, okay, here this is an app um, on the iPad called Place Value, and they can use tens and ones and hundreds to make numbers, so this the, we're working on um, making place value numbers and the student simply made the numbers, wrote the answer underneath, boom, uploaded it and talked about it. Another easy one is you can give them an equation. So in this um, one we were doing subtraction and the students draw the, draw the equation and cross it out and write the answer. And they can talk about that um, using the voice recorder or they can simply just do that and obviously type type an explanation about it with the what and the success criteria. Another really simple um, activity is for obviously the juniors to upload a worksheet and have them complete it. So this one they were in a group writing numbers um, up to 32, or 31 sorry, and they had to take turns and then at the end they had to say the number. Okay, practicing their forwards counting, obviously you could have them doing it in threes, fives, tens, I don't know, whatever you're working on, have them do that. Um, my more intermediate level, so if you're looking for a little bit more of a challenge, uh, you can create templates or use one of the templates that I already have. Um, and the students use the different parts of Seesaw to share their thinking. So this is stepping it up in the Samir um, model, definitely moving away from the substitution level. Uh, they use the drawing tool or they can use emojis here in the label. They drag the labels to the right plates to share it, they write the answer, and they show it on a number line. I mean, that's showing you three different ways of working out a problem right there. Or you could create a drag and drop activity, obviously this being uh, for more junior orientated, but for seniors you could have any numbers here, you could have fractions or percentages, decimals, anything. And the students simply tap the label feature and drag the answer to the right spot talk about it at the end, perfect, great way of using it as a follow-up. Now if you're looking for uh, complication in your maths teaching, then this is perfect for you. A great app on the iPad obviously is called Poplet, um, and what you can do is you can give them two different numbers, and they can use it to show different ways of making that number. And then they are taking a screenshot of that and talking about that in Seesaw. And that's moving up away from your substitution, level in your um, augmentation level, they are redefining their maths by being open to other apps, using it in different ways, talking about it, sharing it, um, and using pictures as well, which is great. 
And then we've got um, a very complicated looking template which I made on Google Slides. And students can show their thinking of a multiplication problem in all the different ways. And they use all the different tools tools that are relevant for them. They talk about it in the end, they share it and they upload it. Um, my kids definitely don't do the multiplication, but this, my students have used the addition or subtraction ones and they have gone down really well. The students are engaged and they love being able to share their learning in the different ways. So what I want you to do now is to open up Seesaw. I know you're probably just sitting here listening to me talk and thinking this girl talks lots. But open up Seesaw and I want you to log in to the practice class. Okay, so you need to somehow scan the QR code here on the screen, this one right here, with a device. So open up your phone or open up your iPad, log in. I'm just going to give you a couple of seconds to do it. Don't ignore me. I think you should try. Have a try. You can always pause it on this part while you open up your phone or whatever and log in. Um, or if you just want to listen to what I have to say and then come back, you can always go back in the recording, pause it and log in and follow on um, once you've listened to this through. So what we're going to do is we're going to try some activities on Seesaw, okay? So I have included um, five maths Seesaw activities that vary in difficulty, okay? And what I think you should do is have a play, get the hang of using one of these activities so that you can use it in your classroom and teach your students, okay? So this one here is one of the newer ones. It is a basic facts game board. Basically, it is like playing a game, but on Seesaw, and it is documenting their voice and their thought process and thinking. Um, perfect way of gaining evidence. They're also having fun too. You can have four kids on an iPad playing a game. I mean, awesome. They choose emojis and they get to roll the dice and um, say the answer into the iPad. Great. This one here, very simple for your juniors. Um, reading numbers, okay. Fluency check in mass numbers. Um, you could do, like, say the number after. You could do numbers before. Anything. Um, this is the rather complicated, amazing, fun Mass problem of the week. If you want to try that one, have a look. The instructions are all there. This one here, show your working. All you have to do is show your working out on um, the iPad and record your thinking. Or there's a number of the week for seniors, which I included. Um, so I'm just going to show you what they look like from a student perspective, what you will see. So if we just flick over to Seesaw here. So here we go, we're in Seesaw, we're in the practice class, you should have logged in by now, and activities is here in the middle. So if we click on that, and then it will have the activities here that you can choose from. So I am going to show you one of them right now. Let's see, let's do this one because I always quite like these ones. So you find your name, so your kids would find their name obviously. And then you're going to um, show the different parts to work out the equation. Now, you as a teacher would put this in there. You would use it as a label before the kids use it. So 4 plus 3. So let's do 4 dots just because this is time consuming. Plus 3 dots. Lovely. You um, as the teacher can obviously model this on in your group modeling book and print it out on an i from the iPad. You could model it as a whole class if you wanted them all to see. Um, it's really up to you. Oh, made that one a little bit too big. Let's make it small again. So plus three, one, two, three. There you go, your answer's seven. Use the equation in a problem, record your problem. Well, I'm actually just gonna type my problem. If I had four um, chocolate. And got three more. How many would I have? And um, you can teach the children that they can make it smaller as well to make it fit in the box because I know some of them are very spatially aware and they don't like things being out of the box. So you can make it smaller like that. Beautiful. Uh, let's just add the answer seven. And then the last instruction is to use your microphone. So if we click yes and then record. I'm going to record for you. If I had four chocolates and got three more, how many would I have? Perfect. 
and the kids can actually do this part um you can actually do this on the computer which is what I'm using right now they don't need to record and write at the same time that wasn't part of the instruction um they can do it that way so let's you, listen if I had four chocolates and got three more how many would I have Woohoo! awesome yay right let's um Oh, so just showing you which is a part that you can tell your students. If they forget what they're meant to be doing, if you click up here on the blue box, it will show you the instructions again. Okay, awesome. Green tick. Yes, checked it. Lovely, looks fantastic. Down here, we are learning to use addition to solve a problem. You might want to add a little bit more. You might want to tell your kids to add a little bit more, like the success criteria, whatever, up to you. Uh, and then um, add that. Voila! Teacher approval. Yay! Cool. So, choose one of those. I actually want you to do it. Oh, I cut off half my words. It says choose one to play, maybe. Have a go. Um, right. So, what are some other examples on how you can use Seesaw in your math program? So, obviously, worksheets. You can upload those through the upload file. Take a video of you working out your problem. So either it could be a selfie video or it could be a video of their work. They could just simply take a picture of their work and talk about it on the microphone. You could use one of the templates that I have made, which are in the Willow Bank folder. There are lots of different ones that you can use. Or you can be amazing and make your own and share them with others. Or you can create an activity that just basically meets the needs of your children. Now, obviously, um, this very short video is to cover everyone's needs and not everything that I have shown you, you are going to take away and use in your math program. But if there is something cool that somebody is doing in the classroom next door, go and ask them. Or if you're not even sure where to start, come and talk to one of the ICT team members or somebody else that you know that's using Seesaw. There are so many of us that are using it in different ways and it's awesome to um, hear and see what others are doing. So don't be afraid to go and ask somebody or just make your own. Be creative. It's cool. Right, so some things that are here to help you. So your Seesaw Activities Slideshow, which is um, Activities PD I did last year. I think on how to create an activity uh, you can click on this um, and it will take you I'll send you the slides obviously and it will take you to the slide deck and um, these are some shortcuts for when you make your own activity if you need them and now when I was talking about mass templates that I had already made these links are all in here so if you just click on one it will take you to the presentation um, Google Slides which I have made here it has got a finished product of what it should look like and it has got different um, templates which you can use for your classroom needs so like as you go down they change based on difficulty obviously and depending on what you want your students to share this is the addition and subtraction ones um, if you were looking for something a little bit harder there's multi multiplication division ones Number of the day um, for juniors and seniors ones, which um, I created. As, um, there was a gap that I found in um, number of the day activities and being able to share their ideas. Um, and so also just reminding you about our Willowbank Seesaw activity sharing Google Sheets that we have. So if you click on this, it will take you to lots of different activities that people have made that they share with others so if you want to use an activity that somebody has already made in their seesaw you can come here see if there's one here that fits or use their activity code and you just click on here and it will open the activity and you can save it in your activity library as a teacher and use it um, for yourself so that obviously is a lot of information in a really short time. If I've spoken too fast, you can always pause it and re-listen to it again and hear my lovely voice. Uh, if you have any questions, come and see any of the ICT team or myself. We are here to help. And no question is a silly question. We are wanting people to be comfortable and confident using Seesaw. Um, this is just one way that you can use it. 
obviously you've got your reading and your writing and everything else that you're doing but hopefully this will give you a few more ideas that you can take away and use um, please have a play please go back to um, the slide with the QR code on it if you are um, didn't have a turn so I'm just gonna put, leave this here for you have a play have a practice um, the only way you're going to become more confident is if you try new things and take risks. Um, yeah, have fun.